Hello and welcome to Dogfilo. Still in the context of the aggressive dog. Now we will answer a fundamental question. Why is my dog aggressive? It seems important to me to point out that aggression as something that is normal in dogs, such as fear or curiosity. Which is called exploratory behavior. It is only an exaggerated behavior in this area that is problematic. That a dog has the character is not so serious, that it has a dirty character or that it no longer knows how to control itself in case of a crisis is much more annoying. Besides the fact that the dog comes down from the wolf, but the aggressiveness that it had at the time and which allowed it to survive has partly lessened since it no longer has to be. A dog like a human being is a living being that has its character. There are shy people, laid people, very confident people and people who are downright aggressive. In dogs, it's exactly the same thing. Of course, education and the environment partly modify this character. The real point of divergence between the two species, the death penalty. Euthanasia. It is not abolished in dogs. So it's about their life to be able to control them and avoid the irreparable. The aggression is to harm someone's physical or mental integrity. It should be noted that in this definition, the simple fact of threatening can be perceived as an aggression. At the limit, the mere fact of being impressive could already be aggressive. I believe that in this area we must be careful and we will examine only proven aggressions, and of course the means to prevent them. The concept of threat is nevertheless most interesting because you have to understand what the threat is for. Take an infamous example, the atomic bomb. All countries possessing it to swear by their great gods that it is only a deterrent to prevent a potential adversary from attacking them. As such, the threat to the dog is particularly explicit. Growling, lift the chops, take a very stiff attitude, fix the other right in the eyes. The dog shows the extent of his power so as not to have to use it. We will come back to this notion by talking about the special case of children who, unfortunately, most often do not understand the threat. Like other behaviors, aggression is divided into three stages. 1. An appetitive phase, hear the threat. 2. A consumptive phase, the aggression itself. 3. A phase of appeasement, too often taken for a request for forgiveness of dog and sometimes the source of a second attack. We just saw that the threat was to not go on the attack. This is why it is at the top of the behavioral process. It should be noted that whatever the behavior of your dog if you want to stop it, it will always be easier if you interrupt during the first phase. In this case, it is easier to stop a dog from biting than to stop it. It is the same for two or more dogs because if it becomes difficult to retain them, it is then almost impossible to let them go, pack effect. You have already seen what reasons cause a dog to bite. Let's go back to four of them. The first is fear, a source identified or not of a very large number of bites. The second is the ignorance of the masters who again involuntarily lead their dog to the supreme fault, especially when it takes place on their own person. A partial or total lack of obedience seems to me to be the third element. Finally, the notion of critical distance and flight distance which induces that in which the dog is or feels, it is his perception which is important, cornered and in his head almost obliged to attack. That's all for this module. Thank you for your attention. The next course is in the description. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to interact with your dog.